So what do you think, buddy? It's pretty cool, man. So yeah, guys. Yeah. Me too. We're at Mayo River State Park. Angling Mill Access. This yep. is called uh, the Mayo Beach. That's right. So it's usually really crowded in the summer. So we decided to come out on a cool day, try to do some fishing and exploring um, here at the Mayo River State Park. How many acres is out here, you think? 2,000 something of North Carolina. 2,800 acres, yep. roughly, probably. All right, folks, we're gonna explore a little bit and then we'll hit you up. What's up? So, England Mill Access Area. I guess they're named after different mills that used to be back in the day along the Mayo River, but it's set up like the Eno River State Park. It goes along the river in sections. So, the, when you add it all together, the, the state park sections of the Mayo River is about 2,800 acres. Virginia border um, side of it has about 640 acres, and they have built a couple trails on it. Down the road, they'll connect it to with a bridge over the Mayo River. But for now, we're here. We're going to work our way up to Falls Creek. But uh, we got it. At, now, Mayo Beach is a natural area that floods and has sand left behind. As a beach, it's really packed in the summer. Swimming and it's also an access point people can put their kayaks in. Eventually, downriver, the Mayo River goes into the Dan River um, in Mayadan, right at Mayadan. You cannot kayak from here to there directly because there's a hydroelectric dam um, kind of above Mayadan area. You have to exit out of that and portage around it somehow. Uh, there's not really a portage set up, but you have to kind of rough it, but you gotta get out. So the log perch is here. It's a fish that's endangered. It's in the Mayo River and parts of the dam. Smallmouth bass. And of course you got your, uh, I guess your brim, bluegill, and some largemouth bass and an occasional brook trout from what we understand. But we found this rock above the beach. Um, it's spray painted. But above this rock, guys, is what they call a bowling hole. So the bowling hole is right over here. The bowling hole is uh, class two rapid right now. Um, as the water goes up, it'll be a class three. People kayak down it and it's called the bowling hole and you'll see it. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I'm gonna top this big old rock that he just filmed. Right there. As it circles there, that's called the bowling hole. buddy so yeah the bowling hole we have now located that's pretty cool find somewhere along the, this section above it is some fish traps or fish wares they call them so they made v's and w's out of a bunch of boulders we're going to see if we can locate those um, as well and work our way up river but we'll hit you up with some updates as we uh continue our adventure This right here, that V shape right there, that is, that's the, uh, one of the fish traps by the and, uh, ancient people, the Indians did, still visible today. So it's got that, definitely that V, this camera don't know good job picking it up, but that's one of the fish traps right on the other side of the bridge. You'll see it. 
other side of the bridge as you come from the England Mill access or Mayo Beach as you're walking north from there towards Falls Creek that's where the fish trap is there's several up and down the river I don't know if it's a better view looking up or not that V looking out there happening oh, we hiked all the way in you can hike they have a trail marked with blue um, yep. circular uh, markers on trees from Anglin Mill access uh, we hiked all the way up to Falls Creek which we're going to show you in a second Falls yep. Creek um, is known for the Falls I guess it's called Falls Creek Falls um, it's up about a half mile up this creek but the water levels are down but we made it this far and then we're going to cross over and hike all the way to the Virginia line where the trail ends currently. Mm -hmm. And then the Virginia trail picks up on the other side of the river. So here's Falls Creek. We're going to show you that next. Just want to be sure y'all got a good shot. This is Falls Creek at, and it runs into the Mayo. Um, there's another parking access up Falls Creek. We're at the England Mill access, like we said, but the other access is the, what do you call it? What? It starts with a D. That's Shay. That's Shashi. The Sajo That's Mill access. <laughs> I'm not saying right. It's another named after another mill that was up river here on the Mayo. And there's a gravel lot there you can drive to and just hike maybe half a mile to the falls which we're going to video in a minute and then maybe a total of a mile to where we're at now and then the virginia line will be up trail we're going to cross falls creek go up trail in the woods here and to the virginia state line and we'll have bird's ledge is a rock outcropping into the mayo river and uh it's named after william bird ii he was a surveyor he had a team that came out here in the early 1700s. In 1728, supposedly he was out here um, at that ledge where the North Mayo River and South Mayo River forks join in to form the Mayo River. And that is where the Virginia North Carolina State Line is that he determined. And he has a journal he wrote, and it is actually um, in the archives historically. And it talks about how him, you know, his whole entire crew surveyed for the North Carolina, South Carolina border, I mean, North Carolina, Virginia border, uh, all the way from the coast inland 200 miles to about Stokes County. Um, so people were saying that, hey, I live in North Carolina. Other colonies were like, hey, no, we live in Virginia. So to, they had to do a survey to have a property line so that they would know whether you, you were living in North or you know, North Carolina or Virginia. And then Virginia bought about 600 and some acres um to form the mayo state park in virginia and they have a couple of trails on it for biking and hiking and it goes down and loops by the forks we hope to get there today too but other than that let's check it out I had to do a creek crossing on the trail around these boulders. Neither one of us fell in. All is good. We're going to hike up up this creek, Falls Creek, to take you to the falls. Um, falls Creek Falls, they call it. So let's go check it out. Check it out, people. We found Falls. Falls Creek Falls, man. What is this? Let's check it out.
Right at the Falls Creek Falls. There's the main falls. This is the real Fall Creek Falls, folks. The mini one, we, the little tiny one we showed y'all earlier, that's, you know, that's a tea. I'm not saying it right, but that, the Zoja Mill access, you can drive to it, take a less than a half mile hike to these falls. It's also called the Zoja Falls or Falls Creek Falls. Beautiful area. Um, we love stuff like this. Water level's down, but when it's up, these falls are really pretty. So our next plan is to hike back to the river, which is about a half mile. We're gonna make a right and go to Bird's Ledge and get you up there and um, let you see that. Right to the Virginia border on the Mayo River, where they converge into one, or something like that happens there. They split apart. That's right, folks. We made it to the Virginia North Carolina state line yep. for the Mayo Park. We did. It. Now, right now, the bridge don't cross the river to connect the two between North Carolina and Virginia. But right around the corner, we're going to show you Bird's Ledge, and his last name's B Y R D. Yep. So, Mr. William Bird II surveyed this area and determined this was the state line. So, we're going to show you Bird's Ledge right now. You'll find a series of boulders up the hill and Bird's Ledge is this rock outcropping that goes into the river. What are you standing on? Bird's Ledge. We're going to have a snack. Yep. Some crackers and some water on Bird's Ledge. Great, great. And uh, fish a little bit out here and work our way back to the car. And then we're going to try, before dark, go to the Virginia side and check that out.
Go. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll hit you up if we have time to go to Virginia South. That's a beautiful largemouth bass, guys. Right here at the Mayo. So largemouth are in it. All right, folks, we did make it to Virginia side, um, the, the Mayo River State Park. It's uh, still in works, but right now they do have a couple trails, yeah. a gravel parking lot, and an Eagle Scout project built this trail board behind us. But check it out. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm gonna switch this around. Sorry about that. So, Mayo River Trails. And then these are the trails that are here. So, due to time, what we're gonna do is we park at the northern part right up here on this map. We're gonna do this blue Mayo River trail down to the, there's a yellow loop. It's the birds, um, birds loop trail. So they probably didn't pick the map up good, but anyway, the birds loop trail is after William Bird the second who did the survey and for the boundaries of North Carolina and South Carolina. I mean, North Carolina and Virginia. I can't even talk. But anyway, we're going to go check this out and see what it looks like and um, take some shots, and then uh, we're going to close off. But here's what the parking lot looks like. To give you an idea. And there's my, we got a sign over here. It's in the middle of nowhere for sure. Oh, yeah. And then there's your sign. Love it. And remember, I love Virginia. You don't have to use all this. Because I don't want a real long video. Real pretty out there. See the trail's wide. So yeah, as you can tell, there's some mileage. They've got um, several trails out and they're wide and it's got a nice field. So we just... What's up? Welcome this to... sign broke, but anyway, from the Virginia side, we're now in North Carolina. And uh, Mayo River, North Carolina boundary is out here. Nice. I'm gonna prop this down cause it broke. And then you'll see the boundaries but we're getting ready to be on the birds loop which loops and comes back up the mayor river trail back to the parking lot so mileage down here we've already been about you'll get about 1.8 to the border state line border so if you come to the virginia side folks you can easily get um Probably about five miles of hiking in on the Virginia side. If you do the Red Bud Trail, um, Mayo River, 
and the bird loop trail all together. Yep. You'll get about five miles here. We've already done about three in the North Carolina side. So uh, we'll get back to you once we hit the river. So at the bottom of Bird's Loop, you got rivers coming from both sides. You got the south over here, South Mayo Fork, the North Mayo Fork coming in. And then right over there is the Mayo River. It joins and forms it. So this is where they converge. And then, of course, earlier today, we were on the other side. So this is where they converge and form the Mayo River. You're looking at the north and the south coming together. And then downstream, like straight down, that's the Mayo River. But all of this is the North Carolina border side right now. Um, but check the field out right here. Look at that view. Of how the loop comes from over there. We hike down and then we're going to hike up this side. And then we'll try to see if we can see Bird's Ledge yep. um, on down. But what a cool spot and awesome find. All right, guys, we found these two benches. Hey, hold it. There you go. Hey, we found these two benches out here. There's one over here and one here. They put them out in a little clearing here and right directly across is Bird's Ledge, a view from the Virginia, uh, well, I guess this is North Carolina side as well, but you get a whole different view from the other side of the river. It don't pick up on our cameras tonight, but Bird's Ledge is straight behind us on some rocks back there but we uh enjoyed our hike we're gonna work our way back and then um close out so hit us up subscribe give us likes and we'll take on some more adventures